What's going on, everybody? Welcome to G Myers World. And another addition to Series 2 in Madden 19 is that you're going to get some power-ups that otherwise previously were not power-ups, all right? So you got HaHa -Ha Clinton Dix, you got Donta Hightower, you got Patrick Mahomes II, and you got Derek Carr. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to break it down for you guys, make you guys understand exactly what's happening. This is the situation. Out of everybody that's available... Out of these four that I just named, we're going to go ahead and look at some of the details about them, and we're going to figure out exactly um, why I feel the way that I feel about them, okay? Now, Clinton Dix is in a very, very – like, there's a lot of other players that are better than him at his position, okay? So, with that being said, a lot of you want to know – you know, I, I don't know what to, how to explain to you that this guy is only as good – as you believe him, you know, as you believe him to be. Like, there's nothing really spectacular about him, all right? So, with this being said, right, I don't know if, you know, you want to spend this kind of coin, you know what I'm saying? Because he has a primetime performer card, and a lot of you guys are like, yo, bro, I already had it, so should I continue to upgrade him? This is the situation, right? I'm going to show you something right here. With Sean Taylor, the way he is right now, I'll take Sean Taylor over him any day. Okay, with, with him just the way he is right now. But that's just me, based on the way Sean Taylor plays. Now, he's going to be glitchy for a lot of different reasons. Sean Taylor's going to play like Sean Taylor. That's Look, the one thing I can tell you, right, he pretty much cheats in Madden ever since he was the Mutt Master of Madden 18. Like, he just he just cheats. Like, there's no real... Um, I, I don't know how to detail it. It's like certain players are always glitchy in Madden, and you just got to deal with whatever's happening. And when you look at the way the game plays... Yeah, you upgrade him. He goes to like an 87 speed or whatever like that. He has a power up. It's smart for EA to allow these primetime performers to be powered up. I think that that's a very, very huge addition. But again, I, if you have a Sean Taylor, is there, is there a need to go after this guy? Absolutely not. But again, if you already have him, listen, if you've already started powering up any card that I'm talking about right now and you like their performance, this video does not apply to you. All right, I'm going over the ratings and trying to explain to you guys, based on the way the game plays, what makes the most sense. That's what I'm doing right now for this video, okay? I have Sean Taylor. I have no urge to do anything that involves Ha Ha Clinton Dix, all right? If you guys have his card and you like what he's doing, you're a Packer fan, you're a cheesehead, whatever you are, and you like it, go for it, all right? I'm just letting you know right off the bat, I don't think that he's the guy for, you know, he doesn't fit my criteria. All right? That's Ha Ha Clinton Dix, all right? Let's go to Donta Hightower. Now, with the way Donta's name is spelled, we have to see if it, because it's just, it's spelled like Donta. You know what I'm saying? Like, who who names their kid that? But it doesn't matter, bro. That's not what this is about. Bro, that's not what this is about. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like, look, does it come up? All right, it does come up. I don't know what his parents were thinking, but it does, that that's not, that's neither here nor there. All right? Now, Let's take a look at some of the stuff. We're going to go to his primetime performer card, right? He's a left outside linebacker, so that means we only can compare him right now to, uh, what is that? We have Miles Jack, right? At a 91 overall. Okay, let's take a look and see what's going on. One of the biggest things that I like about Miles Jack, in all honesty, his zone coverage, his play rec, right? So he has very, very high play rec. He's just slower. All right, let's point that out. He is two inches taller, so let's give him that. Power moves, I don't care about. I don't send Miles Jack on blitzes. He's strictly playing zone like he's supposed to. All right? Now, we're going to go over. His strength is pretty high, too, but I'm not really worried about that. That's not what I'm looking for because I don't. I, I leave these guys in coverage. All right? What's the awareness he has? He has a 93. Okay, this guy has an 89, but that's not the chem version. So he's at like a 90, 91 with his awareness, uh, Miles Jack, but the chem doesn't show right here. Let's go to what really matters, bro. What's his zone coverage like? Like, what, what's he out there doing in zone, though? What's he doing in zone and man, though? Oh, I don't really run man, but if I, if I do, the only time I really run man is if you get an idiot like myself that likes to streak his tight end. Like, I love to streak my tight end. If you get an idiot like myself, right, what you have to do is man him up because he's an idiot like I am, all right? But only thing is, if you man him up and I get by you, it's going to go deep for six. If I try to throw a quick pass, you're going to always pick it. All right, I played a guy earlier today in Weekend League uh, during my live stream, twitch.tv forward slash gmyersworld. Head over to Twitch right now. Drop me a sub if you're an Amazon Prime customer. It's free, so just go ahead and do that. My past broadcast is available. You guys can watch it and see what I'm talking about. The dude picked me off like four times. I was trying to streak my tight end. I am an absolute idiot. So that man coverage matters, okay? Um, but again, that's the only time I usually play man defense. Zone coverage is key, and at the linebacker position, 
Once they get into the 80s, you completely see a difference in the way they play. That's a guaranteed fact, okay? You completely, 100% see the difference in zone. So I like Miles Jack, all right? You may prefer Dante Hightower if you've already started. For whatever reason, it is what it is. He's a great card, okay? But he lacks those things that are necessary in coverage that I use my linebackers for. If he's your user, if you're, if you're using this guy, none of those stats matter. But I don't use my left outside linebacker, okay? So if he's a user, that's fine, whatever. But he's still kind of slow for a user or whatever. What's his catching like? Let's see what his catching is like. I don't know what's going on with that. Let me try to figure that out, too. Uh, his catching is a 63, and then Miles Jack has a 73. So, you know, like I said, with, with, with Miles Jack, I like that. I, like I said, it's not for everyone, though. You don't have to agree with what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? If you play, if you want to rush your left outside, if you blitz your linebacker, you play three, four defenses, go for it. But Miles Jack, in my opinion, I have no urge to do anything with that. All right? That's just my opinion on that card. All right, let's go over to Mahomes now. Now, Mahomes, I really like in real life. The Kansas City Chiefs have found, they have found their, um, their franchise quarterback. They found him. Like, he's right there. Like, he's just right there, ready to go. Now, you can see his power-up is now available. Very, very expensive. You know what I'm saying? People are buying it. They, they're loving him some Mahomes. Um, looking at it right now, okay, let's just take a look at it. I think that, for the most part, he's a really good card, okay? I think he's a really good card. The problem is this, right? Let's go over here. Let's just take a look at what's going on because now... You, you could pretty much do it for a lot cheaper. Like, look, he's at 269, 270. I can literally get rid of Cam Newton and get this guy. You know what I'm saying? Now, let's compare them, all right? The only thing that's really going on is speed. Because when, when Mahomes get chemmed, when he gets chemmed up, he goes immediately to a 94, right? And then you just add the other three. So he goes to a 97 throw power, similar to Cam. His deep throw accuracy is a little bit better, though. You know what I'm saying? Because Cam gets Kem to 82. So that means he would go to like maybe um, 86 or something like that with the plus three with the, uh, the the go deep. All right. Now, let's check his awareness because the awareness is the issue. He has an 82 awareness. So he can get conductor. I have no use for any quarterback that cannot get conductor. So I'm out on this guy. Can he get gunslinger? Yeah, OK, that's fine. But he can't get conductor. So I'm done with him. You know what I'm saying? It's quick, it's quick, fast. I got to be able to do my hot routes. I got to get them done right as soon as I get to the line of scrimmage. I don't want to hear nothing about it. That's what I have to do. That's what I prefer. If you like it, you know, coming out with just Gunslinger, go for it. You look at his numbers, very, very good stats on him. His awareness is very low. I can't do nothing with that. It's as simple as that. All right? That's how easy it is for me. I look for certain things that I want in my players, and they don't have it, I move on. I'm not trying to figure out why they don't have it. I'm not trying to figure out anything else. I'm just done. Now, Derek Carr. Okay, this is a very, very interesting card. Okay, I'm going to explain to you why it's an interesting card. This dude is playing very, very, like, he's okay right now. The last game he played, he had very, very good accuracy and stuff like that. He was, you know, balling out a little something, something. Um, I don't know if you want to invest in it. You know, that this is a lot of coins for a card. You know, like uh, the quarterback position right now, he's not the best quarterback that's available in the game. So I don't see why you would spend this kind of coin for him. Okay. I just don't understand why you would do it. I look like when you look at it, once he's camped, he's going to go to a 94. Then he'll also get to a 97 throw power. And he's pretty much just doing whatever he wants after that. So it's up to you if you want to like, if you already have the card. If you're a Raiders fan, whatever, and you already have the card, stay with it. Leave it the way it is. Do what you have to do. It's fine. You know what I'm saying? You go with it, whatever. But if you're trying to get it now just because he has a power-up, I don't see how that makes much sense. Okay? I just don't see how that works for you. I don't see how it's going to make your team better. And that's what I'm looking to encourage you guys to do. So if I don't see how you can do it, I'm going to point it out like, yo, what is this? This doesn't make any sense. Why are you doing that? I'm going to have to point that out because when you watch the video, when you watch any of my videos and I'm trying to explain to you what works, what doesn't work, if you don't thoroughly understand why you shouldn't go a certain way, then I haven't done my job. You understand what I'm saying? So let's look at his awareness also. So he has a 93 awareness. Okay. So he can get conductor, but am I paying this kind of price for this guy? No. Why would I do it? It doesn't make any sense for me to do that. 
Is he decent in the game? Yeah, he's decent in the game, but I'm not, I'm not doing that. That doesn't make any sense for you to spend that kind of money unless you already have him. Okay, because remember, it's Series 2 now, so there's going to be other players that are going to be coming out soon, or they're going to be upgrading newer players that are better than these cards. I just want to make sure that you guys, you know, you thoroughly understand that, it's, and that I'm very, very clear with it. There are going to be a lot more cards coming out that are going to be, you know, getting upgrades, doing whatever. Maybe Carson Wentz, he's coming back. Maybe he gets a power-up, you know, new upgrade, whatever, because of a great performance. Aaron Rodgers, these guys... You, if you guys have already started with those type of cards, you know that it's coming. You just have to be patient and just wait it out. You know what I'm saying? So as far as that goes, I don't see why you would spend, uh, you know, that kind of coin on Derek Carr. Looking at my team the way that it is right now, I'm pretty, I'm satisfied with the way my team is balling right now. Like, I, I can't really say anything bad about what they're doing. Like Cam Newton, he's going to miss certain throws, but all of the quarterbacks in the game do. And I just think that other than Mike Vick, as far as mobility and stuff like that and having the conductor cam, I think Cam Newton is the way to go. But, you know, can he get raid sold before my next video? Absolutely. Like, bro, that's what I question. But for now, he's working for me. Hopefully this has taught you something about, you know, the way that you should value your cards and what you should be doing with your cards. If you have any further questions, feel free, feel free to leave it in the comment section. Tweet me at World. Like me on Facebook. Follow me on Instagram. All that good stuff. Definitely check out Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash G Myers World, G Myers World Gaming, and G Myers World Podcast on YouTube. And I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. One love.